Greetings comrades, Multigame Master one reporting in, and welcome back to Let's Replay 100% Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we completed Peanut Park 100%, and now in this episode, we're going to venture forth to the next level on Isle Delfino. Now you'll see that there are three levels that we can access right away, but I decided to go ahead and get this next level underway. This red pipe will take us to Serena Beach, Episode 1, The Manta Storm. People consider this level to be their least favorite in the game. In my opinion, this is my favorite level, and one of the reasons why is because of the serene atmosphere established for this place. I mean, just look at that nice and beautiful sunset. Isn't that just awesome? By the way, the word Serena doesn't entirely mean serene. It's actually Italian and Spanish for the word mermaid. So we could call this place Mermaid Beach? I don't know, I don't see how that makes any sense. But when you think about it, the word Serena does bear a close resemblance to the word Serene. Now to start off the mission, you want to talk to this guy. Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You can save me. I don't know why, but you just look very... capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant manta-shaped... thing showed up. It was this paper-thin, floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then... Oh, the horror! My beautiful hotel! My poor building! It sank in the middle of that awful ooze! Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and- Aye! It's back! That customer go! Do something! Behold the next boss of the game, Fanta Manta. That thing looks really creepy by the way. If I saw that in real life, I'm pretty sure that I would turn pale white. Now what you need to do to defeat Phantom Manta is to constantly spray it with some water. As you're doing that, you'll see that it's emitting electric sparks. You need to keep doing it until this happens. Spraying it with water causes it to divide. So to defeat Phantom Manta, you need to constantly keep spraying it with some water until it disappears entirely. Keep in mind that the more groups you split them up into, the more difficult this boss battle is going to be. My best advice would be for you to keep your distance from the Phantom Manta, because if it touches you, then you will be flung a far distance. And don't touch the electric goop, otherwise you will be electrocuted for a few seconds, and it will give the Phantom Mantas the upper hand in flinging you, so to speak. I recommend that for this boss battle, you use a variety of spraying techniques, for you to stand a better chance against Phantom Manta, such as the Spin Spray and Super Spray. Okay, so far so good. Splitting these guys right down to their smaller groups. Making good progress. Now they're all after you! Beware! So when you split the Phantom Mantas to their smallest groups, they will turn red like this and chase after you. Again, keep your distance from them and keep spraying them with some water. Gosh, these guys are just as bad as a swarm of bees. Except, Phantom Mantas and bees are completely different. Sure, Phantom Mantas and bees travel in swarms, but bees just sting and... Phantom Mantas just leave behind electric goop in an attempt to slow you down. Okay, so far so good. Going right down the middle with this. There's so many of these guys everywhere, I'm starting to lose my footing. And I'm very surprised that I haven't taken any damage yet. Of course, I could jinx myself. This battle's not over yet. Actually, I think it is. With that last Phantom Manta defeated, with just little water remaining. Once you defeat Phantom Manta, the electric group disappears and the hotel rises out of the ground. Rise, Hotel Delfino! Rise! Look at that nice hotel, by the way. It makes me wish that I could go to a hotel like that. Of course, then again, I think I may have gone to a few hotels like that, but I just can't remember what or where. But anyways, once you defeat Phantom Manta and complete the mission, here is where you can collect the Shine Sprite. But we're not done yet, we've got a lot more to do on Serena Beach. Episode 2, The Hotel Lobby's Secret Several missions that we're going through on Serena Beach will involve us going into Hotel Delfino, and every time you start missions like this, a cutscene like that commences, and during editing, I'm just going to cut these small bits out. With that said, let's make our way to the hotel. Oh, but before we do, if you have a look at the landscape from this point of view, you'll see that the landscape itself, 
bears a close resemblance to that of the Nintendo GameCube controller. So this would be our C stick. Over there would be the A, B, Y, and X buttons. That in the middle would be our start button. This would be our directional pad. And that would be the control stick. Isn't that awesome to think about? Blue coin right here, by the way. Just squirt the torch and you'll be able to get it. Now with that, let's make our way inside the hotel. Hey, um, it's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Listen, I, uh, have a feeling you can help me out again. See, the hotel, it's, well, it's full of, it's full of ghosts. So, well, could you maybe, look, just come inside, please. I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. Uh, okay then. In the hotel, you'll see boos as well as red boos. The boos you can defeat by jumping on top of them, and if they turn invisible, then you can squirt them with water to reveal their position. The red boos, once they're squirted with water, will transform into solid platforms, and we're going to need these solid platforms in order for us to access the secret within Hotel Dolfino that can be found above us on the third floor of the hotel itself. It can be found inside that boo statue, just travel inside the mouth and you'll get to the secret level just like that. Shadow Mario, you are definitely testing my patience. Inside this secret level, we have an obstacle course that we must complete for us to get another Shine Sprite. In addition, we have 8-Bit Mario in the background. Hooray! First part, we have some strolling stews that will guard our way. You can defeat them if you so wish. We also have a 1-Up Mushroom right here that you can collect if you destroy the brick. And now we'll keep moving. Soren stews to help us get across. Make sure you jump on top of them because you won't be able to get to the next part of the obstacle course with just regular jumps. This part you want to make your way to the top of the wall, destroy the bricks along the way. You don't necessarily have to destroy all of them, just four on one side. Here we have some sandy platforms, again make your way across before they disappear completely. And the path down below us just has coins, I'm not going to go down there because it's pretty pointless for us to go down and pick up some coins. Okay, so far so good. Almost fell back there. I'll ground pound these watermelons to reveal a 1-Up Mushroom that we can collect. Now for this next part, we need to make our way across to the other side with this rotary platform. I prefer working with this camera position by the way, just to be safe. Well, careful, don't want to go too fast about this, don't want to be too hasty. As they always say, haste makes waste. Finally, we have the sand mound that we must cross ever so carefully, and once you make your way across, here is where you can pick up the Shine Sprite. Get out of here, strolling stew. Thought you could guard the Shine Sprite from me? Think again. We'll come back here to pick up the second Shine Sprite. Okay, we're back here inside Boo's mouth, and the reason why that is, is because, as usual, we have a red coin challenge for us to complete in order for us to get ourselves another Shine Sprite. Initially, you won't find that it's at the very start. You need to go a few ways in order for you to start the red coin challenge. Specifically, it can be found on top of this wall. All you need to do is to make your way to it by getting past these bricks. Once you do, you can start the red coin challenge by ground pounding on this switch. Let's go. Now, the first three red coins you'll find on this sandy path, use the hover nozzle if you need to in order to save yourself, should you end up falling. Carefully. There we go. The next two can be found in this part of the obstacle course, one above the watermelon, and one that can be found in a very convenient location. You know, I'll be honest, the first time I played this game, I really didn't know where that red coin was until I inspected the obstacle course fully and found that I was missing it. Blocks back there, by the way, those were ice blocks. And I confused those for water blocks, but it turns out that they're actually ice blocks. Go figure. Now the last three remaining red coins you can find on the sand mound, just make your way to them and you'll be able to collect them. And once you collect all eight red coins, here is where you can pick up the Shine Sprite. I wonder if that Stroll and Stew is going to guard that one as well. I doubt it considering that this is the Shine Sprite that we're going after and we already got that one Shine Sprite. That poor, poor Stew. Episode 3, Mysterious Hotel Delfino. Yeah, same cutscene as before, I'm just going to skip ahead. 
Ah, dear Mario, please come right in. Do I sense some reluctance? Come now, don't dawdle. Alright, alright, I'm going in. By the way, when you enter Hotel Dolfino, you won't be able to get back to the beach unless you exit the level entirely. That's just the way the game works. Now, we need to find the Shine Sprite. I reckon that we should be able to find it if we make our way to the third floor of Hotel Dolfino. As we will see in this instance, it can be found above the swimming pool. I suppose it's easy pickings for us, right? Uh, sir, do you mind moving out of the way so I can get the Shine Sprite? Hey you! No one in the pool without proper swimwear! So, just because I'm not wearing any swim trunks, you're just going to guard me from getting the Shine Sprite? How totally unfair of you! Well, I guess we're gonna have to find another way for us to get the Shine Sprite. Here's a blue coin that you can get by the way, just squirt the ceiling light and you'll be able to get it. Now let's try to find a way as to how we can get to that Shine Sprite. Oh look at that, it's a Yoshi egg! And it requests a pineapple. I think we're gonna need that Yoshi. Conveniently, there's a fruit bar over here. Let's see if this guy has any pineapples to sell. Yes sir, we can meet all of your fruit needs. What'll it be? One pineapple please? Eh? Pineapple? Oh, hmm, that's odd. I had some this morning. You don't have any pineapples? What kind of business do you conduct here? Seriously, you should have fruits of all kinds here. Not just durians, coconuts, papayas, and bananas. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go someplace else in order for us to get a pineapple. Where do we even start? I lost it when I heard this was a four-star resort. I mean, come on. Water damage in the restrooms? That is so low class. What are you talking about? Oh, I see what he means. In a four-star resort, you don't expect problems like that. But this is convenient because we can make our way up here to access another part of Hotel Dolfino and apparently this bathtub is connected to the men's restroom. That's very weird. No wonder they call this mission Mysterious Hotel Dolfino. I get a really creepy vibe from this weird painting. But you want to know what I find even creepier than that? What's that? Imagining how you got in here. Sorry, I'll just leave. Here's an image, just squirt it with some water and you'll reveal a picture of a boo. Once you do, jump on inside and you'll be taken into the next room where we will see a shrieking couple. Eek! I swear, if I did that any louder, my voice would crack and my throat would hurt. S -s Suddenly, a g -g ghost came out of the c -c closet! It did? Whoa! Didn't see that coming. So the boos are back, and here I was thinking that we dealt with them already. To get to the next room, just squirt these closet doors with some water, and you'll be able to reveal an image of a boo. Don't be discouraged if it takes you a while for you to complete this puzzle, just keep at it and eventually you'll complete it. Inside this room, we will see red boos and a damsel in distress. Do something about these ghosts! And get out of my room, you weirdo! Fine, jeez! Okay, that's taken care of. Now we can make our way to the next room. Hey there, how are you doing? Wait a minute, where did you come from? I'm calling for help. Okay, seriously, what is these people's problem? Squirt the bookcase in order to make your way to the next room. Now there should be a blue coin in here that we can collect. Here it is, just squirt the bookcase. Hey, how's it going? Now where did I put that thing? Hey, have you seen a pineapple anywhere around here? No, but I'll keep a lookout for it. Here's a picture right here, by the way. Squirt it with some water and you'll go into the next room where you'll find yet another blue coin. Now, let's find that pineapple. If we jump on this part of the floor, we'll be taken into the storage room that has crates. And some of these contain pineapples, others contain coins. By the way, here's a brand new enemy right here known as a Sleepy Boo. And... These guys can't be defeated by water, as you see. We're gonna have to rely on something else. Maybe Yoshi can help us. And speaking of which, since we have this pineapple, let's take it to Yoshi and get him to hatch out of his egg. There you go, Yoshi. Okay, now we still need to find a way for us to get to the Shine Sprite above the pool. Maybe if we make our way up to the attic, we might be able to find out how we can get there. There's just one problem though, we need to find a way to get up to the attic. By the way, here is a blue coin that you can get if you squirt the lamp. 
and this open door should be able to get us somewhere. Oh, hi there! My door's open, and there's nothing to be suspicious of. How about a game of checks? Ha 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 ha! Uh, no thank you, I'll pass. Um, uh, yeah, right. Don't have much to say? Eh, uh, I feel your pain. Here's how we can get up to the attic, and let's talk to this guy. All these ghosts are causing such trouble. They're everywhere. Why can't someone come along and suck them up with the vacuum? What? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know, maybe because you were making an obvious Luigi's Mansion reference? As you can see, that's how you defeat the Sleepy Boos, by the way. You can use Yoshi's tongue. Oh, Boo Coin! Oh, that's a dirty trick by that Boo. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get to another part of Hotel Delfino. Oh, this is the same room in which we've been in. If we make our way down here and devour this Sleepy Boo, behind it is where we can pick up another blue coin. Now, let's try to make our way back up to the attic. If we can pull off a spin jump here. But having trouble with this. Come on, come on, thank you. It's really difficult to pull that off. Okay, there we go. Now, let's proceed inside the maze once more. Should be able to find a couple more things. Hmm, there's a spot over there as well. I know for sure as well that there is another blue coin that we can get up here. I just need to find it. But for right now... Where's the... Weak part? Here it is. Inside this room, we have... Someone apparently screaming at us because she's furious. Hey you! Have you lost your mind? You can't just barge into a lady's room. It's just not done. Get out! Out! Shoo! 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 Okay, fine. Let me just take care of this image. Squirt that picture over there and you'll get another blue coin. And if you ground pound on the glass table, you'll be taken into another room with another blue coin. If I can get down there and away from the bed. Alright, come on. Thank you, Yoshi. Nice try, boo. Okay, now let's make our way back up to the attic. I swear, I've struggled with this in the past before. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I have struggled with this. And it was not fun. Okay, um, now before we get to the Shine Sprite, where is that blue coin that I want to get? It should be right over here. Here it is. Okay, now let's find our way to the Shine Sprite. I recommend that as you're navigating your way through this maze, that you have the camera positioned like this, because if you have a position like this, then it's just going to be really difficult for you to navigate your way through the maze. Now, where's the weak part of this? Here it is. And here is where you can pick up the Shine Sprite above the pool. Thanks for your help, Yoshi. Episode 4, The Secret of Casino Delfino. Well now, Mario, you really should drop by the casino. I'll let my boys know you're coming. Go on now. Uh, thank you. I wasn't really intent on visiting the casino until you brought that up. Oh, my gambling addiction. I hope I can bring that down to a minimum. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, you can't go into the rooms in Hotel Delfino because as you can see, the door is locked. The same for all the other rooms as well. So you're gonna have to use the attic in order to find your way to get to the rooms. Now, let's make our way to the casino. Ah, Mario, right this way, please. Certainly, good sir. Let's go. Look at this casino. Settle in and make yourself at home, okay? Enjoy yourself. Thank you, sir. By the way, here's a one-up mushroom that you can get. Just squirt the ceiling light in the elevator and you'll be able to get it. Now, what you need to do to access the secret within Casino Delfino is to focus on these water-powered slot machines. And what you have to do is to get triple sevens on both of them. This one is easier for you to deal with because, well, as you can see, as you apply a certain amount of water, it will land on a particular spot, and that just makes things easy instead of, you know, those wheels randomizing from each other. However, this is where things get tricky because every time you squirt this slot machine with water, it will randomize to make three of a kind of certain images. In this case, the price you can get from the slot machine is either a boo, three coins, a single coin, or the triple seven prize, which is what we are aiming for. 
This is gonna take me a while to pull this off, by the way, but just keep at it and eventually you'll be able to get the triple sevens. Oh, come on. I'm having such terrible luck with this. Wait, hold on. Seven? Seven, seven. Okay, that didn't take me as long as I thought. Still, I hate that water-powered slot machine. It's all luck-based when it comes to getting triple sevens. Here's a blue coin that we can get, by the way. Just squirt that torch with water and you'll be able to get it. Now, here's the final part of us trying to discover the secret of Casino Delfino. You need to squirt these question mark panels to reveal an image of a shine sprite. Keep in mind that as you apply water, it will flip between the question mark panels as well as the image. And surprisingly, this didn't take me as long to solve. Usually it takes me about three minutes to solve that puzzle. But hey, I guess I got pretty lucky in this episode, haven't I? With the exception of Shadow Mario, stealing Flood away from me again. In this obstacle course, we have a lot to do in order for us to get to the next Shine Sprite. This first bit has cubes that we need to avoid. Some of these will push you off, others will attempt to crush you as you will see dead ahead. But for right now, we can use this block as a means of getting across. Now I mentioned earlier about the crushing blocks. Don't get in between the blocks, otherwise you will lose a life no matter how much health you have. A crush is an instant death. Just keep that in mind. I'll take this one up mushroom with me. Oh, I missed the block. Well, not to worry. It should be able to come back. It only takes a few seconds for that to happen anyway. Camera? Actually, I should blame the blocks because they got in the way of the camera. Now in this next part, we have some wooden platforms that you need to cross with careful timing because they can shift from left to right and vice versa, given time. I'm going to ignore that one-up mushroom. Here's the final section of the obstacle course. This giant block that we have to navigate our way on in order for us to get to the shine sprite. Good thing the slope detection is bad, otherwise this would be really difficult. Once you make it to the end, here's where you can pick up the shine sprite. We'll come back here to pick up the second one from the red coin challenge, as usual. Okay, let's get this next red coin challenge underway. Here we go. While we go through this red coin challenge, I guess I will talk about this mission. You know, I can see how it is that people dislike this level the most because, well, in this particular mission, you really need to test your luck when it comes to the slot machines as well as the water power panels. In which case you have to get triple sevens on the slot machines and then you have to reveal the full image of the shine sprite. The thing about the slot machines is, well really, no matter how much water you apply to the slot machines, the picture that is revealed behind each wheel is completely randomized, especially that second slot machine that we had to deal with. And the thing about the water power panels is, well, no matter how much water you apply to it, there are some instances in which you'll end up being lucky and reveal the image the first time around, and other times when you'll just struggle for like a very long time in order for you to reveal the image. And I myself have struggled with this in the past before. I'm not going to lie, during my first playthrough of it, I did have trouble with the mission. So I can understand your guys' frustration. With this mission complete, we can now take the Shine Sprite with us. Now we still have a lot more to do within Serena Beach, but unfortunately we're out of time for this episode so I'm going to end things off here for now. Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we are going to complete the rest of Serena Beach. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Multigame Master 1, over and out. See you later comrades! Did I seriously get lucky in this episode?